Okay, so let's talk about that finale for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Before we get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell turned on, on the road to 25,000 subscribers before Stranger Things Volume 2 drops. We are so close to 22,000, less than 500 to go, so I'm super excited for that. But let's talk about it. That Obi and Darth fight. My goodness, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Anakin just going at it, and I was just like... It's just like the parallels, everything that was happening, right? Like the fight and all of that. And just seeing these two go at it. I think that the emotions that they brought to it as well. Uh, Ewan just playing Obi-Wan to a T. And like, when you thought about like the Obi-Wan show, this is exactly what you knew we were going to get. We were going to get these scenes where we were going to have these amazing fights that were going to fill so much of the story that we didn't have at all from from revenge of the sith and new hope like we always had that blank about obi and anakin's story from that point and i thought that what they did so well with this one was really show you where everybody was at because obi was always at a point where he thought that there was still maybe some hope left there for anakin even after finding out he was alive as well you always saw that glimmer and that hope that there was something there still where he could touch his friend and really feel that same brother love he had for him throughout the Clone Wars and everything coming up together. So it was very heartbreaking when you saw that Obi realizes that there's nothing, there's nothing there. It's gone. And I think as Anakin puts it there is no Anakin I am all that remains basically is just this darkness that's all there is this pure hatred was just there for Obi-Wan and I think Obi-Wan really realized this um, I thought that the whole scene as well where he um, cuts the helmet was very well done especially paralleling what we saw uh, with Ahsoka and Anakin as well so I thought that was done very well and really great job on them for that and that really got to me like you just saw the pain in Obi-Wan when he realized that there was nothing here anymore like this is just who Darth Vader is and Darth Vader very much so wants Obi-Wan dead and that's all there is to it and I thought that was something that was done so beautifully and the fight and everything man it just touches you just like I still revisit um, Revenge of the Sith I am definitely gonna revisit this so very amazing fight right here um during all of this reeve of course is also chasing luke by the end of it all however we see um that obi and darth's battle comes to a halt as obi just completely walks away i don't think that obi had it in him to even try and kill anakin at this point just how much his heart probably shattered knowing the truth of it all i don't think obi had a willpower or anything to continue on with anything he just needed to pretty much get Leia Luke to safety that was all that was left I don't think he even bothered to even think about what was coming it was just too much for him you know so I think that's one of the reasons we saw that we Darth Vader was just there trying to get to Obi-Wan but Obi-Wan kind of like dealt some pretty good damage to him so he wasn't able to so Obi-Wan just walked away so we see Leia get to safety um and we get a little callback well not a callback but a little like hint as to what we saw in new hope when obi-wan's pretty much like hey if you ever need some help or find yourself in some trouble you can get a tired old man a message and we of course we know that happens in the new hope when leia sends her message out to obi-wan kenobi for help so i thought that was very uh good there as well of course we realize that Reba doesn't have it in her to be evil and to um, take Luke and all of this and she starts to have this epiphany with Obi-Wan if she is indeed just as evil as the one who killed all of her friends and all of that and if she's becoming just like Darth Vader or what Obi-Wan tells her that she can become whoever she needs to be that there's still hope there for them So I think we'll definitely see some more of Reba in a future installment I think that there is definitely more to explore with this character trying to find themselves of who they actually are And I think that's gonna be interesting to see so we see Obi bid farewell to Luke for now And I'm pretty sure they're trying to set something up. I would love to see some more of these adventures with Obi-Wan I think that having Darth Vader as a background in this whole thing is definitely interesting to see and see exactly what Obi-Wan was doing because it's been 
going to be several years I have to pass before we get to the events of New Hope. So I could definitely see another series starting off here. Um, we do have one big cameo at the end, which was something that many were expecting and others were not sure. And I think that even the character, like the actor who plays the character, said that they weren't in it, but turns out they are. And that's, of course, a cameo from, from Master Qui-Gon, who is played by Liam Neeson. And Liam Neeson's just been in a lot of things, right? So we just saw him in Atlanta make a cameo there. So here, pretty much Obi-Wan's like, where have you been this whole time? And... He's just like, I've been here the whole time. It's just you weren't ready to see yet. But come on, let's go. We got something to do. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what exactly this is that they have to do. We'll see. I think Obi-Wan will definitely get a season two. I think the show ended off pretty strong. And I think that they're definitely, after the last episode and then this one, it's going to be an insanity. Because I think that they did such a good job at ending the show and giving what they were saying they were going to give. What also like expanding the universe with Reba and everything else that they did with it I'm excited to see what they want to do I love when they're filling in the blanks of things that we don't necessarily know about yet so I'm curious to see what they'll do at Reba let me know your thoughts and opinions on that but I'm definitely excited to see where this new adventure lies for Obi-Wan as well as we wait in that timeline between of uh, this and A New Hope when we'll see him have to come back for Luke Skywalker as Luke Skywalker will be that beacon of hope that they need. But like I said, I think the series is pretty great when you look at it as a whole and everything it accomplished. I think that the pacing it took in season in season four, in episode four was needed, especially getting into these next two episodes. It needed to take a breather, especially after episode three as well. And I think that it's paced very well if you look at it like from the whole perspective of episode one through six it gave you enough time to build those crescendos bring it down build it again and give you an impactful finale so i don't know the people that were out here um, bashing it and everything but it was great so let me know your thoughts your opinions on it if you're excited for a season two would you want a season two let me know in the comments below but anyways as always that's going to do it for me i will make a video talking about season two theories of what we could see what adventures and all of that so if you want that make sure you subscribe notification bell on we do have a video on black phone coming out today we do have a movie review for it already so go check it out if you haven't uh we do have a marcel the boys hero gasm there's a ton of stuff we have also the new stranger things trailer drops so we talk about that as well so go check out all those videos if you haven't already but as always that's going to do it for me as i said i enjoyed this season i'm excited to see more and i'm ready for it so anyways let me know your thoughts your opinions and as i said check out all the other videos i have as well i covered some of the episodes of obi-wan i kind of paused a bit because i got really backed up with a lot of shows but now that I've caught up with all of them, I just wanted to get my thoughts on the finale. So I am covering the boys on a weekly basis right now. I am doing a watch party for Stranger Things season finale next week. More details on that will be on Monday. So make sure you subscribe for that. And just a ton of other stuff. We got a lot of movies this weekend. We have Elvis coming out as well, which I want to check out. So I'll have a video on that and Black Phone. So yeah. I got a ton of content for you. Anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. Stay safe. Stay positive.